Hi everyone, welcome to my first uh, YouTube video ever and my first video is gonna be uh, five top fragrances that I own, um, top niche fragrances that I own that are below $100. Um, I purposely wanted to start with this uh, video because I just thought to myself that there's a lot of people as well that just started like getting into the niche fragrance um, section and they might not want to spend a lot of money at first um, nevertheless hundred dollars or hundred Swiss francs or euros whatever you want to call it is still a good amount but I just thought I'm gonna make you a quick a short selection I'm gonna show you um, I just want to mention as well that I will be showing the notes here um, of each perfume I will put it on the screen because it's much easier for you to remember rather than when I talk about them I've also, I will also try to link uh, the ones down below and so you can have an easy access to these perfumes. I also want to mention that none of these perfumes are sponsored, no more they gifted to me, I purchased them myself. Um, there's no particular order, I'm just gonna go and grab uh, any perfume that's in front of me and then I will talk to you a little bit about them, uh, why I got them, why I love them and so on and so forth. So I'd like to start with the Mascat by uh, Heritage Berber, is this one. And I got this actually in Marrakesh. Um, and if you've ever been to Marrakesh and you've ever been to, um, what's it called, the Jardin, the, the famous garden of Yves Saint Laurent, not very far from it, there's actually a little boutique where they sell amazing perfume. And I found this brand, which is not a very known brand, but they make great perfumes. And I actually chose this one, and I think this was around 50 or $60, which is an amazing price because it's 100 ml and it's actually made in Morocco. And the silage of this is just stunning. It lasts on for ages, um, and it is a very strong perfume. I will just spray it on to tell you. Yeah, it is. I, I, I think this perfume is stunning. Um, this is definitely unisex, so you can also wear this if you are... Anyways, you can wear whatever perfume you like. But it is also very masculine, I feel like, because it's very herby. Um, so it is a lot in winter. I also like to wear herby perfumes in summer. I know that not a lot of people do that, but I actually feel like if you find a great right perfume, it can smell really nice. Um, you have to be careful though because herby perfume in summer sometimes can smell a little bit sweaty. So this one is really beautiful. If you love herby perfumes, you like a bit more of a strong perfume. You also love very masculine fragrances and this is a great one. You should definitely try and find it. I know it's difficult. I will try to find a link because I bought it in a boutique, but I am sure there's a way to get to it. So the next one that I would like to show you is the Oud Sherhav by Swiss Arabian in this beautiful golden bottle. It is a 70 F, uh, 75 ml and it is also amazing because it lasts so long. I really love this perfume. This is probably one of my most lasting perfumes, which is really um, astonishing to me because at the beginning of my perfume journey, I always thought that only very expensive perfumes last really long, but it's not about the price, it's more so ever about the quality of the juices, of the oils that is put in the perfumes, and this one is absolutely amazing. Um, it is, again, it is a very oudy fragrance, but I feel like this is very feminine. There's a rose in it, it has a sweet touch, but not too sweet. And if you like, for example, Montale um, Rose Mask or you like Delina, Delina um, then this one is something up your alley because it has a bit of this rosy kind of smell. It's also a little bit, I don't know if there's vanilla in it, but I would say more like a, a soft, warm rose. There could be honey in it too. Um, it's very cozy very uh, curious smell if you want to call it like that it's like one of those perfumes when someone wear it you want to smell again because it's a very intriguing one if you want to try and when and enter the world of middle eastern fragrances then this is a really great brand to start but also to keep because their fragrances are really well made as uh, also for people who are not really used to oud because sometimes when you don't really know about oud or you when you don't really or ever tried middle eastern fragrances then oud can be a bit um 
strong for you so this one is really beautiful i highly recommend getting this one and the price it's just unbeatable because it's like 40 swiss francs which is around 35 38 dollars and but trust me this one stays really long on, at least on me then the next one i'm really excited to show you because because it's my first video and also because of my instagram um, people have been so kind to me and um, really trusted my recommendations and i want to give away this perfume i actually bought the second one so the one i'm talking is the pure royal 910 by Frederico Mahora and you know how everyone's talking about Maison Courtesan uh, Baccarat Rouge dupe this is the closest dupe that I found I would say it smells 99% the same um, I don't think it compares to the Ariana Cloud one I don't think that this I actually thought that the, the Cloud one was a bit too sweet but this one honestly smells really 99% the same and I Nevertheless, I tried this perfume. This is amazing. If you love the Baccarat Rouge one, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, you should try this one because it smells very similar. When it comes to sillage and lasting power with this perfume, I really feel like this doesn't really last as the Baccarat Rouge because if you try the Baccarat Rouge, you know that it lasts sometimes even for days on your clothes. It does linger on your clothes though. And I think, and I also think that the staying powder that the staying power is amazing but this one is 29 pounds so we cannot expect the same lasting power but i think this is amazing like i said if you love the perfume but you're not ready to spend too much and you just want to have one that's you know can keep in your bag so i love this one it's amazing and i know a lot of you already purchased it so i got this one and it's a packaged one and i will give it to some, one of you unfortunately not to every one of you but at least one of you can win it um, i'm gonna let you know at the end of the video how you can win this perfume so this one is amazing um and also great price like you cannot say anything about it um and then the next one i want to show you is a really new one that i've just purchased recently which is a makam ibrahim it's from celebi perfume and I believe it's a Turkish uh, brand and it's a 50 ml and this one um, I actually bought off Amazon so I do a lot of blind buys I don't recommend it if you're not too familiar with the perfumes that you like I am obsessed with perfume since I am really small and I know exactly what I like I have always been so passionate about it so I actually love blind buying which it means I check the notes on the internet, I see the reviews and I decide whether I buy it without have, having smelled it. Without having to smell it? Yeah, without having to smell it. <laughs> this one was one of those, but this one is a little bit less risky because it was like 39, 39, 39 euros and I got it off of Amazon and I got it because the reviews were so amazing and I thought, okay, I might try it. And I actually have to say that this one really surprised me because I don't ever have so high expectations because perfume is so individual like anything other that's beauty but especially perfume because it smells different in every skin and also the taste of everyone is different but this one is so beautiful when I got it I was like I have to immediately tell everyone about this because it is so powdery there's vanilla in it and it is a very soft vanilla it's a very soft lingering scent i think there's a lot of people there's a lot of women that i know that love perfume but they don't really like the strong ones they like the ones that are a bit softer tiny little bit sweet that layer on your skin like for a day and you just once in a while smell it again and they don't want anything that's too overpowering and this is exactly this one it there is a middle eastern feel to it so you can definitely smell that it's not a european perfume european kind of perfume but I honestly was surprised because I thought because it's such a it's not a very strong perfume but you can smell it but I thought uh, because of that I thought it's actually not very long lasting but I was completely wrong because I actually smelled it even in the evening um, so I would say the staying powder power is maybe a, a 7 out of 10 but that also depends of course on your skin I don't want to make claims and then you get it and you're like 
she lying? <laughs> I think it really depends on your skin chemistry as well and with the perfume. And because it's a very soft fragrance, you might not smell it for a long time, but I actually really believe that it has a great staying power. Um, this is a 50 ml and I love the bottle because it's very simple. I actually love bottles like that that you can put in a bag in case you want to take it with you. Um, this would also be a great perfume if you want to layer perfumes. So for those who don't know yet, I'm going to make a video about it. But especially in the Middle Eastern um, customs, when it comes to perfume, you layer a lot of perfumes. I know a lot of people do it nowadays. Um, and so you mostly you take one that's a little bit more herby, let's say an oud one that's a bit less you know like sweet and you would pair it with a vanilla it would give you like your own kind of kind of perfume so i definitely layer this with the next one that i'm going to show you so the last one that i'm going to show you today is the woody style i've talked about this on my instagram this is a 100 ml and this is probably one of the best woods i own and i know that sounds crazy to say because there's so many great woods out there but i just love this so much and i have paid i think a hundred dollars so it is just at the border i hope the price didn't increase but it's just i i'm just so in love with this perfume and when you are i don't know if you've ever been to harrods which is the huge mall in um london where there's a lot of people from the Middle East walking around with like these amazing perfumes, especially the women from the Middle East, they just smell amazing. And this perfume reminds me just of that. It's such a luxurious um, herby, but at the same time, very gourmandy fragrance. I, I'm, I'm obsessed with this fragrance. It's definitely one of my favorite ones. It's lasting power, it's incredible on me. When I put it on my jacket or on my coat, I actually smell it like way after I actually sprayed it and people really notice this fragrance. I actually get a lot of compliments for this fragrance and I think the price is just... I rave about this for a long time because it was actually my first ever oud. And if you are looking for an oud and you're ready to dive into the little bit of more of a strong um, perfume world and you want to try it and you say okay i am ready to spend a little bit of money you have to try this one i cannot guarantee you will like it because wood is not for everyone i always say for me it's like truffle like there's people that love truffle and there's people that don't like it i happen to really enjoy truffle and wood <laughs> and i really believe that this one is great um so these are my five top fragrances that are under hundred dollars i also want to say that in my opinion niche fragrances don't have to be always expensive because the price is justified differently for some it's justified because it's a brand so a lot of prestigious brands uh, they would put a higher price already because it's a certain brand then there's a lot of indie brands and new brands that um that start at a lower price and i also believe that um you know, not everyone is ready to spend so much on a perfume. I personally have all kind of price ranges and I decided to make this YouTube channel because I always make these kind of videos on Instagram and I get so many messages to do proper videos on YouTube and I wanted to start a YouTube for the longest but I didn't really know what kind of topics. I, I thought maybe I can do vlogs, maybe talk about beauty, but you know, perfume has been my passion for the longest and I've been complimented since my school days that I always smell good, so I thought, why not just start that? Um, but I also want to mention that perfume is so personal, so don't ever get offended and don't ever, um, you know, be upset when you hear someone talk about perfume that they love and you don't, because it's so personal, like I said. Please comment below on the video topics that you would like to see from me and also um, what else you want to see. Like. I will do a lot of different perfume videos. They will probably just niche perfumes. I would be so happy if you would um, subscribe to my channel and you know follow my journey and let me know if there's anything that you would like to see. I would love to like schedule my content based on what you would like. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.